Hi there, I'm Peter Millard from 10 Minute Workshop. Another workshop this week where we're continuing our gift ideas theme, Gifts for Makers, in part one. We looked at pocket money stocking fillers in part two. We're looking at things that are just a little bit more indulgent. That's coming up next. Oh, now perhaps uh, indulgent is the wrong word, perhaps. Oh, main present sort of quality and price is really what we're talking about. And um, we're going to start with something uh, from Weera. In fact, we ended the last one with something from Weera. Uh, this is something uh, uh, a little bit more sophisticated. This is the Weera Tool Check Plus. This comes with a pretty much a comprehensive set of bits from Torx and security bits, Philips, lovely, and Posies, and a little set of hex as well, plus five and a half, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, and thirteen mil sockets, a bit holder handle and a little socket handle as well. Uh, great quality from Weera, really nice little kit. I keep this in the van all the time because on an install it's ever so easy just to forget something critical. Uh, and if you've got it in the van, you know it's there, you know it's always going to be available. Uh, a little bit on the pricey side, around about £65 for this whole kit, but very good, nice quality. Uh, and well worth having. I, as I say, always keep mine handy. Uh, then I know I've always got it on an install. Uh, next up, we're going to go with our friends from Benchdogs Co. UK. Now, I've talked about uh, the flag stops from Benchdogs Co. UK and also the uh, fence dogs. These are fantastic. Uh, Twenty-six pounds for a pair. Uh, I think fifteen pounds um, for the flag stop. Uh, they also do a whole host of other things from sort of clamping squares and things like that, which are really useful. Uh, one of the other things that they do, which I really like, are these low profile bench dogs. They call these bench top protectors because what they do, they also come with, uh, they're only thin, they're like three mil thick at the top, so really good if you're working on thinner material. But they also come with a little sort of silicon rubber disc on the top of them. So you could put four of those into the bench and put a uh, either a veneered or painted panel on top of it that you're working on and that won't slip around so there's no chance that the surface is actually going to get scuffed up or damaged. Great idea, I think the uh, bench top protectors are £30 for a set of eight uh, and they do a whole host of other bits and pieces as well. Uh, links to them and all these other products are down in the description below. I don't have any sort of asso uh, association with bench dogs or the other companies that are coming up. Uh, so if you could use one of my links, they're trackable links, so I just know how many people I send their way. It's it's a good reference for me uh, if you can do that. That's uh, be very helpful. The other thing that bench dogs do is gift vouchers. So if you wanted to spread the cost of some of these things out amongst family members, you can actually ask for bench dogs gift vouchers as well, which is a great idea. And there's a few other companies that we're going to talk to uh, throughout. The rest of this video that also do that. Uh, next up, well we can't really mention fence dogs without also mentioning ooze nest. Now I used ooze nest for the aluminium extrusion that I used to make the fence uh, when I demoed the, the fence dogs. I've also paid a visit to ooze nest and they do a huge range of CNC machines and they're also very heavily involved in 3D printing, they actually supply 3D printing filament. Uh, it's great quality stuff, uh, I, and some of it, uh, some of the, the uh, artificial wood filament that they do actually has a, the scent of the of the timber as well. Uh, amazing stuff. Uh, uh, as well on the uh, CNC side, they do uh, an end mill set. The end mills are the cutters, basically. They do a starter set for about a hundred quid, which has seven end mills in it. So if you're just getting into CNC machining, uh, it's a great way to get an initial set of all the cutters that you're likely to need. Uh, so that's Ooze Nest, friends of the podcast as well, the Measuring Up podcast that I do. And uh, you'll definitely be hearing some more from Ooze Nest in the future. Uh, next up, well, you know I try and keep my gear in reasonable nick. I don't baby it, but I don't thrash it anyway. Uh, this next one's not quite so tidy. This is my little TerraTech sprayer. Um, 
Uh, I've done a whole video on this, if you've seen it. If you haven't, go and check it out. Uh, it, it's fantastic value, HVLP sprayer. If you've never sprayed anything before, if you've thought about it, but thought the cost of the gear was too expensive, this is just 30, 35 quid or thereabouts. Uh, amazing value for money. It sprays really, really well. This particular one got me out of a real bind recently, uh, and I have absolutely no hesitation in recommending it. Uh, 30 quid with two paint pots, critically, which means that you can keep water in one to clean it down and keep the other one active with a load of paint. Uh, just, just superb. It has absolutely no right being this good for this sort of money. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommended if you're thinking about getting into spraying. Great, great little piece of kit. So moving on uh, to general workshop stuff, um, clamps. I'm going to recommend the Bessie Duo clamp. Now these are quite expensive. Uh, they start at around £20, but they go up pretty rapidly from there. These are one of the nicest one-handed clamps that I've ever used. The real advantage uh, that I found is that you can turn it from a clamp to a spreader. There's none of this taking the head off and putting it around the other side business. It's just a question of flicking a switch and it turns from a clamp to a spreader. Really clever, really simple, really nicely made. A little bit on the pricey side because you're always going to need more than one. Uh, but very, very nice, very, very good quality, as you'd imagine from Bessie, uh, and starting at around £20, but going up fairly rapidly from there. Now, the next thing, I've got to exercise a little bit of caution with it. Up until a couple of days ago, I would have wholeheartedly recommended this. Um, it's my air quality monitor. Uh, great little thing, 35 quid, £38 thereabouts. Uh, just runs off a USB and actually run it off a USB rechargeable battery. Um, the reason I'm exercising a little bit of caution with this is because uh, the first one I had died and I've replaced it with another one and I've bought a spare part to try and resurrect the first one. That died absolutely positively because of paint inhalation basically. It's got paint in the system. A couple of days ago I had a chat to my YouTube pal Andy Matt from Gosseth Handyman, my podcast co-host, and he said that his has just gone the same way, but absolutely no paint inhalation at all. Uh, so these are these are good value. They're 35, 38 pounds thereabouts. The nearest proper one that you can buy is a few hundred quid. So in comparison, they're very good value, obviously less so if you have to change them every six months. Um, I, I really like it. I just, I can't quite recommend them wholeheartedly, but I'm going to keep it on the list because there's nothing else quite like it. Uh, I don't know how well they're going to last long term. Um, but 35 quid, you're adults, you can make that decision yourself. But while they're working, they do a really good job. Let me just say that. Uh, and staying with the uh, breathing and air quality kind of theme. Uh, we're going to go with a face mask. We're going to go with the Trend Air Stealth face mask. Now I did a whole uh, a whole video about these. Uh, these are without a doubt the most comfortable, lightest weight, uh, nicest P3 face masks with replaceable filters that I've ever come across. They're about 23, 25 pounds thereabouts, so not the cheapest, but replaceable filters means that you can keep them going for longer. Uh, very, very comfortable in use. I've had a few issues with previous ones where they just don't seal very well around the nose, possibly due to the size of my nose. But uh, these are really nice. They fit really well and they work very well. Very lightweight and very comfortable in use, which means you don't mind using them. Uh, again, very much not an indulgence. A face mask is pretty much a necessity, uh, especially if you're going to do spraying and that sort of thing or cutting MDF. Uh, uh, well worth the money, in my opinion, to have one that fits so well and is so lightweight and comfortable in use. 
Next up, uh, we've got a power tool. Um, I haven't actually had it for that long, but I really, really, really like my Katsu trim router. It's a fixed base router, so I wouldn't really recommend it as a first general purpose router. But if you have a need for that, I've got mine pretty much dedicated to a round over bit. Uh, it works very, very well indeed. About 30, 35 pounds. I think I've seen them down as low as 28 sometimes. Uh, but it's a, it's a copy of the Makita um, trim router, palm router. And it just works extremely well. Um, gets a little bit hot, a little bit noisy, but what do you expect for 35 quid? Uh, great value for money. Uh, as I say, I haven't had it for that long and I will be doing a, a review on this after I've used it a bit more. I've also got the Aldi, which is only 25 quid, and I'll be comparing those. Uh, but at the moment, the one that I would recommend is the Katsu at 35 quid. Uh, great value for money and I'm really pleased that I've got mine. So next up we've got one of the few repeats, in fact the only repeat in, in this video, in fact the only repeat in the previous video was also a Miroc product. This is my Miroc Square. Um, these are fantastic measuring and marking devices. This is the larger of the two. Uh, Vladimir makes two of these. He makes uh, an 8 inch 200 mil. It's about 26 pounds or this one the 10 inch, excuse me, the 12 inch 310 mil, I believe, uh, which is about 40 pounds. Again, these are largely made to order by Vlad in the Ukraine. Uh, they're beautifully made and machined, and he did uh, very generously put the 10 minute workshop logo <laughs> into mine. I don't know if that's something he could do it's generally, but I suspect not, uh, but very, very nicely made. Uh, just, it's, it's the square that I reach for every single time. It does far, far more that I use it for, it, it, for me it is essentially a square, but it has all the same sort of fractions of a millimeter marking, uh, an angle measuring markings on it as the ruler does, but obviously at a larger scale, a lovely, lovely piece of kit, uh, highly recommended. You do need to order relatively early to get one delivered for Christmas, but uh, great, great piece of kit to have in the workshop. Uh, the 8 inch 200 mil is about 26 pounds and this one the uh, 310 mil is just shy of 40 pounds. So uh, a little bit on the more expensive side but absolutely worth it. Lovely, lovely, lovely square. So staying with the measuring theme now, uh, we're going to give a quick shout out to my Bosch Velcro, what a rip off. Uh, my Bosch uh, laser rangefinder. Um, this is the, an older one, it's a DLE40. Uh, very, very accurate because it's laser. Don't confuse these with the, uh, you see that? Um, don't confuse these with those sort of fairly ghastly sonar ones. Uh, really, really nice quality, uh, great piece of kit, very accurate. This is an old one. Uh, there is a newer version. Uh, this is the DLE40. The newer version is the GLM series. They do 30, 40, and 50. I think if I was buying these again, uh, the GLM50 uh, is the one to go for. It's uh, about £75 and has Bluetooth built into it, so it connects to an app. So you can, as you're measuring around a room, it will actually put those measurements into the room plan for you. This is the sort of technology that we should be using to make our lives easier. Uh, caveat with that one, I haven't actually used one of those, but it sounds fantastic and the reviews are very, very good on it. You can still pick, it, pick these up, but they're quite pricey. These are about £115 now for an old version, which seems crazy to me. Uh, the new versions, as I say, is about 75 for the GLM uh, 50. Uh, with Bluetooth uh, and all that wonderful connectivity. So staying with the sort of measuring and marking theme, we've got my superior level levels. These are a little bit of an indulgence. They don't really cost any more than any other quality level. Uh, and they are handmade right here in Britain. Uh, this is the traditional, this is a traditional 600 mil with the natural timber inserts. I also have the black powder coated 
all trades level, uh, which has uh, synthetic inserts. They've just done a special range, which is a powder coated level with a natural timber insert available in black and white. Now, I've got to confess, when I saw the pictures, I looked at that and thought, wow, the black one looks good. And then I actually got to see the white one in the flesh. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, white powder coating with a slight gloss finish to it. These are just things of beauty. Uh, I, I absolutely love this finish. It is just fantastic. Um, it, it's, it's hard to imagine anything nicer. You get so many levels that are in, you know, yellow or red. To have them in black and white is just such a fantastic idea. Uh, the special editions in black and white are only available in 600 mil and they are £65 plus VAT. Uh, there's a, a special offer for Christmas where you can get a 300 mil level with a tape measure and a superior pencil. Um, that is just £50 plus VAT. Uh, a great idea from superior levels is that they also do gift vouchers. Gift vouchers for 20 50 or a hundred pounds so uh, you can spread the cost of a level or indeed a set over several family members yeah really really lovely really really beautiful levels uh, 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 absolutely fantastic uh, and then there's one other thing which I'm going to add into the mix uh, and that's something that I don't actually have here because I'm kind of hoping I'll get that for Christmas and that's again another Weera product that's the Weera Advent Calendar. Now this is a great idea. Uh, it works particularly well with Weera, obviously, because they make lots of little bits. Uh, uh, so they can put together a 24 days run up to Christmas quite easily. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, it's about 50 pounds or thereabouts. Uh, but at the end of it, it produces a nice little Weera toolkit. Uh, uh, and you get sort of the, the thrill of getting one of those bits a day. As I say, I don't actually have one of those here, uh, uh, but fingers crossed, I'll be getting one of those for Christmas. So that's it for this year's Gifts for Makers videos. There will be one more gift idea video coming out before too long, and that's going to be on the Wednesday workshop. That's going to be gift ideas for the podcaster or YouTuber in your life, or perhaps the podcaster or YouTuber in you. Well, that's it for the gifts for makers. Everything from the relatively small and very useful to the absolutely gorgeous. I know which one I've got my eye on and hopefully there's something in that list that's tickled your fancy as well. Uh, links to all the products I've shown and talked about are down in the video description and I'm also including links to last year's products that we featured uh, in 2017 as well. But that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.